Welcome or welcome back at I need help at C square. In this example, we're gonna need to find the measure of segment AB if AC is 61. And if you notice here, this is the picture. And what do you notice here? We have three points here, A, B, and C. These three points are what we call them collinear. They are on the same line. And therefore, we can use the segment addition postulate, which says if we have three points that are collinear, in this case A, B, and C, and B is between, then we can write this statement, which I think makes sense. A, B plus B, C equals A, C. That's the, thing, the first thing I'm going to write here, AB plus BC equal AC. And this is the geometry. And then we're going to do nothing else than replace the segments AB and BC with the expression given. AB is 3x plus 4. BC is 2x plus 7. What about AC? And AC, if you remember, was given to us 61. So, like I said, we start with an easy statement in geometry, and we have now an algebraic equation where we see x here, three x's and two x's. We're going to combine them, and we have 5x. We see the 4 and the 7. Again, we, they're on the same side, so we're going to combine them. That will be 11 equals 61. And now we have a two-step equation. First thing we're going to do is subtract 11. And we have 5x equals 50. And the last step, divide by 5. And we end up with x equals 10. Now let's go back and again remember we need to find a b. So basically now I'm going to go write that expression we, we have for AB, which is 3x plus 4. And in that expression, I'm going to replace x with 10. So we have 3 times 10 plus 4. Well, that will be 30. If you all follow the order of operation, plus 4. And that will be 34. Okay, so AB is 34. You can do a similar approach and find the length of BC, right? 2 times 10 plus 7, 20, 27. And 27 plus 34, I think that is that 61. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button. And come back and see square for more help. Thank you.